Right. Well, this is being done. In, in that situation, the appropriate thing is to, is to actually ask your honor permission to reposition myself as a quorum in order to see the demonstration. Okay. okay. So just, uh, you know, there's a formal way to ask the question. Do it. And ordinarily, you will be allowed to actually stand up near the jury box or somewhere else in the world. Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury and your honors, stay tuned with BNN and BNN Online for the latest on this breaking news alert. These were the words spoken by, in the BNN broadcast on September 24, 2006. This broadcast involved plaintiff Drew Walton, and this broadcast is the reason why we are here today. Today's case is a case about the news. It is not a case about the news 50 years ago, which involved daily radio broadcasts, or even 20 years ago, when 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock were the only times you could see the news. This is a case about modern journalism, a case about continuous 24-hour breaking news stories. This is a case about news that is gathered at one time and then given to the public. This is a case about the news that changes. However, today this is also a case about alleged defamation. Drew Walton is claiming that the CNN broadcast regarding Blaine Hamilton's death is the reason why she lost her election. But let's look at this case together. And remember that today the plaintiff has the burden of proof, and they must prove to you defamation by clear and convincing evidence. They also must prove to you that BNN acted with actual malice in making this broadcast because Drew Walton is a public figure. On September 24, 2006, Drew Walton was at a political debate. She happened to, after that debate, her and Lane Hamilton became a broiling argument. Shots were fired, and Lane Hamilton was dead. Drew Walton owned that gun, and Drew Walton was definitely involved in the shooting. BNN was there, and BNN reported on that crime. Not, excuse me, reported on that story, just as any other breaking news program would. Now, today you heard from Riley Faith, who is an expert in the field of professional journalism. He told you that this was an example of typical modern journalism. He told you that when a New station for files for attraction, it does not mean that Regan Thomas or any other BNN employee was negligent. He told you that BNN did not breach any of the ethical standards. But more importantly, he showed you. He showed you where Regan, uh, Regan Thomas used his opinion, and he showed you how this is a report of the news that is gathered at one time and delivered to the public. This becomes clear when looking at the actual broadcast. Now, BNN used words that were full of terms with a certain uncertainty. <coughs> These words included statements like, it appears, possible involvement, uncertainty, so many questions, and so few answers. But we, what we'd also like to draw your attention to was the ticker that was constantly running at the bottom of the screen. The ticker that read, Walton may be Hamilton Shooter. The words may be are not direct and they are not objective. They are certain. And they are uncertain because BNN was uncertain. These words were meant to be designed this way because the news always changes. We would also like to draw your attention to the very last statement in this broadcast. The statement that read, stay with BNN and BNNonline.com for the latest on this breaking news alert. The viewers would know that this was a breaking news alert when they saw this. They would know that BNN didn't have all the facts. They would know that BNN was not accusing Drew Walton of murder, and they would stay tuned. They would be curious. They were curious, and they <coughs> did stay tuned. And when they stayed tuned, they saw the update the very next day, the update that said that Drew Walton did not kill Blake Hamilton. They saw the retraction, the retraction that was not required, but was a practice of good ethical journalism. That retraction was submitted on September 25th, 2006. Drew Walton's election was not until November 7th, 2006.
she had six weeks to campaign, she had six weeks to debate, and she had six weeks to fundraise without any prejudice from the BNN report. Plaintiffs simply cannot prove to you why she lost her election. It is clear today that through Jawalton's testimony that her character was not clean, that she had a bad reputation from both the paparazzi and from her assault charges and her advisor's embezzlement. They cannot prove to you why she lost her election because there are too many valuables. There are too many valuables because just like the news, the political scene is constantly changing. It is constantly changing because we are constantly getting new information. But since the plaintiff cannot prove to you this element today, you must find in favor of BNN. Regan Thomas performed a full investigation. He asked for permission from his president, Kit Berkshire, and it was granted. He ran a story, and that story regarded Drew Walton and, and Lane Hamilton. That story was later retracted when Drew, when Drew Walton was claimed to not be the murderer. It was retracted because the news changes. It always changes. We are asking you to reject the plaintiff's claim of defamation and find in favor of the defendant, Vienna. Thank you.